Decision from Ottawa. Today, the dark history of Canada's residential schools will be formally recognized as one of the events that shaped this country. Ottawa is adding the former school system to the list of events of national historic significance. It's being labeled as a defining event that continues to have an impact today. Two schools, one in Nova Scotia and one in Manitoba, will be named historic sites. The designation responds to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's call for commemoration. Ryan Morgan is the director of the National Center for Truth and Reconciliation. He joins me now with more. Good morning. So glad you're able to be with us. Talk to us about the significance and importance of this decision. Well, it's an exceptionally important step in our evolution of our national consciousness, uh, who we are, what we've done, uh, where we've come from. Uh, it fundamentally recognizes that this history of residential schools is the history of Canada, the history of all Canadians. And it's uh, likewise important for all Canadians to understand and uh, know about this history. And these two schools um, in Manitoba and Nova Scotia will become historic sites. What does that mean for those institutions? Yeah, well, the recognition of these particular sites uh, affirms those individual communities' long-standing efforts to have those sites protected, known, recognized. Uh, those were entirely community-led processes, and those are really setting an example for other communities to follow, should they wish to have their own sites protected. For certain, what will happen through this is that uh, people in those regions, people on a national basis, are going to understand what was happening in their own backyard, uh, oftentimes for decades and decades and decades. Yes, and there are still survivors alive today, and some of them may view what happened, their experiences at the residential schools, as something that they would prefer to forget. What do you say to those people? Well, that's uh, a, a very central and real element of this entire history. Remembering uh, is painful. Remembering is traumatic. Quite honestly, it can even be traumatic for regular everyday Canadians as they begin to become more acquainted with their history. This is a history of pain. It is a history of genocide. We have to come to terms with that. And while we walk this road, we have to keep uh, the well-being, the health, uh, support for survivors front and center in our minds because uh, it is survivors that have been leading the charge on so much of this. Uh, it is survivors that also deserve our full support as, um, you know, they collectively heal from this uh, terrible history that um, has created so much pain and suffering. How can Canada continue to improve with their goal for truth and reconciliation, Rye? Okay. You know, uh, there's a huge conversation underway in this country right now about what we remember and how we rem remember it. Uh, we only have to look to the events of this past weekend where the statue of uh, John A. Macdonald was uh, torn down. Um, we have to be questioning uh, our past, past historical figures. We have to be engaged in a conversation with our past in a full, complete, uh, honest manner that especially involves the perspectives of Indigenous peoples and other historically modern marginalized groups. At the same time, we also, if we're going to uh, think about memorialization and commemoration, think about what new um, acts we need to uh, undertake as a country. Uh, there are still many calls to action that call for the erection of a national monument, uh, monuments in each uh, provincial and territorial capital to honour uh, all of those children that never returned home from the schools and those survivors that are with us here today. So we have to keep our eye on the future while never forgetting where we came from, who we are as a nation, and frankly, the, the great um, uh, errors of our past that we need to continue to atone for and ensure that they never, ever, ever again repeat themselves. Ryan Warren, thanks so much. Really appreciate you being with us today.